Behind the Scene with David Bedeen, August 25th, 2020. These days are days in which Israel is now engaging United Arab Emirates in a new peace agreement, an unprecedented peace agreement. Why this is important is because the UAE, although not contiguous to Israel, not in a state of active combat with Israel, is still one of the members of the Arab states, the United, the, the League of Arab Nations, which is in, in a state of full, of full war with Israel and has not, which has not stopped since 1948. It's very important because that pledge of war with Israel is what keeps Israel on its toes in, in every possible way, always looking to see which Arab nation may be attacking it next or organizing a boycott next, which is, of course, an act of war. The Arab boycott, which started in 1950, affected the United Arab Emirates and all of the other Arab Gulf states, in addition to, of course, the Arab states contiguous to Israel. The fact that this has been broken, the fact that 200 Israeli corporations now do business with the UAE, is viewed as a great step in, the, in, in, the, in, in a uh, move towards prosperity at a time when the uh, lockdown in Israel for the last six months has caused more than 100,000 people to be thrown out of work. And that, is, that has created a, a um, uh, spiral in the unemployment situation in Israel with 100,000 people thrown out of work and another half a million people in the unemployment market. It's, it's, it's a disaster for a nation of 9 million. So that's what people are looking at right now. Now, there is a controversy over whether or not Israel will block or try to block American supply of the of the uh, sophisticated um, airplanes to the UAE, and that is now that that is now been brought up at the United Nations with a cancelled meeting which was supposed to take place between Israel and the UAE. However, what I think is more important for the long run is the fact that UAE is the prime of the num number five funder of UNRWA, the United Nations Relief and Works Agency, the leading. Uh, funder in the in the Arab world of the of UNRWA, United Nations Relief and Works Agency, whose school system is training children to to engage in full scale war with Israel. In a sense, we have the the situation of the, the lethal delivery of the mean of the means of mass instruction, the lethal mass instruction. That is a much more serious and clear situation we face that the schools, which are being financed, and, uh, amongst other things, by three leading Arab nations, the UAE, Saudi Arabia, and Qatar, each of which see its role as preparing the Palestinian Arab people for a state of war, for continued war, to liberate everything lost in 48, and to make the symbol, the slogan of the schools of UNRWA, is the right of return by force of arms. The three Arab nations that have become prominent funders of UNRWA, again, that's the UAE, Saudi Arabia, and Qatar, have conditioned their aid to UNRWA on the increased level of preparedness, brainwashing of children for right of return by force of arms. This situation of a school system Training children, brainstorming children for war is just as bad as a nation in a, in a case of, in a situation of physical work with Israel. And that's what Israel has to deal with now. The question Israel will have to face will be this. The UAE is going to give an economic boost to the Israeli economy. The question is, is it worth the price of, an, of a school system where, where 321,000 children learning in UNRWA schools in Judea, Samaria, Gaza, and Jerusalem will be trained and brainwashed for full-scale war. That is what Israel has to face. Whether Israel stands up to the UAE or not is the question that will be dealt with over the next few weeks. In the month before Rosh Hashanah, the Israel, the, the Jewish New Year, which is always a time of reflection, introspection, of, of um, rendering what will be, this is the time when the negotiation will be taking place between Israel and the United Arab Emirates. The question whether Israel will stand on its, its integrity and say, 
excuse me, this is not the kind of school that the system that should be funded by anyone, let alone an Arab country. Israel is being pressured, of course, to put that aside and just look at the economic arrangements, the good economic arrangements, which the UAE is, is making with Israel. And that, that raises the question, is Israel, the Jewish state, a nation of prophets or of prophets? Prophets with a PH or prophets with an F? And that is what Israel has to deal with in the near future. Its integrity is in question, and the question is whether people will stand up for Israel's integrity, people who live in Israel. And uh, that's, the, that's, that's the issue that we'll have to deal with. And now you'll see films of, our, of which, we, which our crew has been taken of the UNRWA schools in the beginning of the school year, in which children learn poems about the necessity to exterminate the Jewish people. I never would have, would have believed it, but that is the text which the, which the teacher writes on the blackboard on the first day of school for the children to learn by heart. That is what's being funded by the UAE, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Germany, the UK, and Sweden. And that is what, what Israel needs to challenge. This is behind the scene with David Bedin. המארחת מאז 1948 את הפליטים הפלסטינים מקדישה 54% מתקציבה השנתי לחינוך. חינוך שכל כולו שטיפת מוח ונטיית תקוות שווא בקרב תלמידים תמימים לזכות השיבה, לכפרים אותם נטשו ב-1948. ערב פתיחת שנת הלימודים במוסדות אונר"א הודיע נציב אונר"א החדש פיליפ לזריני על שינוי מדיניות החינוך ועל הפסקה מוחלטת של ההסתה. אין האדרה של שהידים בבתי הספר של אונר"א. יש לנו אפס סובלנות להסתה או לאלימות, אמר לזריני. ביום הראשון לפתיחת שנת הלימודים במוסדות החינוך של אונר"א, ביקרנו בכמה מבתי הספר המטופחים של הארגון, מתוך סיכוי כי נמצא רוח חדשה של פיוס ושלום, כפי שהבטיח לזריני. השיעור הראשון בכיתה ג' בה ביקרנו הוקדש לזכות השיבה וללימוד השיר הקורא להשמדת הציונים. השיר לקוח מספר לימוד שפתנו היפה הנלמד בכיתה ג' בכל בתי הספר של אונר"א. השיר הפך להמנון וללהיט בקרב הדור הצעיר. <ש> 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 وأبيد فلول الغرباء وأبيد فلول الغرباء وأزيل الغاصب من بلدي وأزيل الغاصب من بلدي أمورا فتخى إتا شيور بإكروت إما تلميدين بإمتصوت الشيلة أباء ما هو أكفر مكوري شلخة البرد الأصلية غزة بزمان شاة تلميدين ينكو إتسخوت الشيفة مأونرا צעירים בסמוך לבתי הספר שיגרו בלוני נפץ לעבר ישראל במטרה לזרוע הרס. גם הם שמחו לשתף ולשוחח איתנו. هذا كله شو هاو الآن يقوم بإطلاق النار باتجاه البلالين الحارقة لولا أنه متضرر من هذه البلالين لم يطلق على هذه النار ونحن مستمرون في حراكنا بيكاشنا من تلميدي أونرا لشماء دعتهم على سخوط الشفاء على شلوم وعلى ترور بلوني التابعة البلالين الحارقة مبارب ومفيدة لنا ضمرت كثير لليهود منيحة يعني كيف أقول لك الاقتصاد عند الاحتيال يعني بني هذا البلونات الحارة أونرا مكبلت 1.2 مليار دولار م67 مدينات بمكم لخنخ تدور الصير لشلوم هي متباخت كبار 70 شنة 
את זכות השיבה, שפירושו עידוד הטרור. לבחלם פי אני ארג'ע לברדי ולזם נגדע על כל האחתלל וליהוד. ועד אלמג'דל היא ארדנה, שרעו מנה אליהוד, שרעוה מנה. طبعا في حد بيحلم الشي يرجع لبلده في المقاومة يعني انها قاوم للاحتلال واللي نهب أرضنا منه ان احلم ارجع إلها ان اقدم نفسي إلها بمكم لأخين את הילדים לשלום על פי רוח האום אונרה מכינה אותם למלחמה الله الله بقول انه انه لا هيجي يوم انه كلنا ننتصر على الاحتلال ونسترجع ارضنا اليهود اخذوا منا ارضنا بقوه ولازم احنا نستردها بقوه يعني ما ينفعش ناخذها بسلام وهيك كلام يعني نروح نواجه الصهيون الاعداء نخليهم يشاربوا على وطننا بالمهره لا والله ما في سلام نواجه الصهيونيه انه نتحدى الاعداء قوة وبعزيمة ما نيأسش نحرر وطننا ونتحدى الأعداء أخذوا أرضنا نكتلهم كلهم لا بكونش سلام ولا قسمة ولا إشي המדינות התורמות ובראשן גרמניה המובילה חייבות לדרוש מהאום דיווח על הנעשה במערכת החינוך של אונרה אחרת בפעילותה אונרה גוררת למלחמה לא والله ما في سلام نيح يا رب يحرقهم اليهود